The toddler at the center of yesterday's Amber Alert in Greater Victoria today was home with his father. Ben Bowden says the police action involving his son was the result of a misunderstanding between him and the boy's mother. A News reporter Mary Beth Burton has a follow-up. Two-year-old Malachi Bowden has a cozy coop and all kinds of toys to play with at his dad Ben's house. The little boy at the center of an Amber Alert yesterday seems oblivious to the legal drama that unfolded around him. Ben has one week on, one week off custody with Malachi and his week began this Sunday. But on Sunday, Malachi stayed with his mom. Bowden says he was too ill to care for the boy and that his ex-common-law spouse and he agreed on a Monday pickup. So I went out there at one o'clock and she was not there. Bowden says he called Central Saanich Police, who directed him to the courthouse. Coincidentally, Malachi and his mom were at the courthouse, too. I went up to her, and I hadn't seen Malachi for a week, and he hadn't seen me, so he was like, Daddy, Daddy. So I picked him up, and I was talking to her. I'm like, what are you doing here? Bowden says Malachi's mom was concerned about their parental arrangement. Starts to get into a heated argument, and I don't want to have the argument in front of my son. So dad left with child. Minutes later, an Amber Alert was issued. Uh, the father had arrived and had taken the child uh, prior to the custody hearing, and that's why the Amber uh, Alert was issued. But there was no hearing, and it was his custodial week with Malachi. Bowden says as soon as police called him to tell him about the Amber Alert, he agreed to bring Malachi to a meeting at a Senate shopping plaza. Police and media were there. Like, I was just devastated okay. when I found out, you know, my family all the way across uh, Canada, right to back east, including my grandparents down in Palm Springs, found out before I did. Bowden, who owns his own construction company, says he doesn't have a problem with issuing an Amber Alert. In any situation like that, uh, an Amber Alert should go out. But he also says he should be allowed to clear his name. I just think it's, it was very damaging to me and, and my livelihood. I've had clients call me and are fearful of hiring me because of, you know, stuff that was blasted across the news. Malachi's mom refused our request for an interview, but said she understood Bowden's desire to clear his name and tells A News she never feared he would harm their child. Police would not comment on Bowden's account of the events. Uh, what at the end of the day, whether someone gets charged or the follow-up, that re remains to be seen, but it's still under investigation. Malachi has a life-threatening kidney condition and is on a wait list for a transplant. His father hopes whatever family issues remain could be settled away from the media spotlight. In Langford, Mary Beth Burton, A News.